Property Inv Riders team is here today in District 15 of Opera Estate. We are bringing you to a brand new under construction inter-terrace along Norman Terrace that's just off Swan Lake Avenue. Built on freehold land featuring five ensuite bedrooms in a modern luxury design team. You'll be in for a treat if you're on the lookout for a brand new build that's under the 5.4 million quantum mark in D15. Let's go! Starting off with the facts of the house, we're actually in District 15 on a freehold plot of land with dimensions on 6.1 meters frontage and a depth of 21.2 meters. We're estimated to TOP in the Q2 of 2023. Total land size about 1,393 square feet with a built-up of approximately 4,300 square feet. This will be a two-story inter-terrace with a mezzanine floor on the second level and an attic at the top. It will be featuring five ensuite bedrooms with a helper's room at the first floor with a WC. You also do get a sizable car porch that can fit comfortably two regular-sized Japanese cars. Orientating the direction of the unit, our main gate and front door will both be facing the northwest direction and the back of house will be facing the southeast direction. Careful thoughts have also been placed into the construction, meaning that there's also a mechanical lift that has been catered for multi-gen living families that have elderly members or is actually there for a future-proof feature in case you do decide to move on from this house eventually. So taking a look at where we are at, Norma Terrace is actually in District 15 within the Opera Estate. We are actually bordered by the main roads of New Upper Changi Road, Upper East Coast Road, Bedok South Avenue 1 and Siglap Road. Pulling up the boundary map of District 15, you'll notice that Norma Terrace is actually on the onset of the District 15 boundary, just crossing over from the District 16 of Bedok area. Norma Terrace is located right off the main road of Swan Lake Avenue. Our unit is actually located right next to the tail end corner terrace, which means that we do get an additional benefit of not bearing the full brunt of the vehicular noise from the main road of Swan Lake Avenue, and yet not be located too deep within the enclave that makes walking out to the amenities an additional chore. But outdoor enthusiasts, you'll be happy to know that the Siglap Linear Park connector is located right outside your house which is where we are at right now. So this links directly all the way to East Coast Park seamlessly which will be perfect for your evening jog or a cycle. So just 3 minutes walk away you'll find this quaint row of shop houses at Jalan Bangsawan. Here is where you also find the local residents' favourite eateries of bakers and cook and also plank sourdough pizza. There's also a newly constructed playground right behind at Bangsawan Park so this will be great news for families with young children. Originally this was two separate schools of Opera Estate Boys and Opera Estate Girls and eventually they actually merged into one back in 1985. So up till today, the school still sits on its original plot of land right along here on Fidelo Street. So even though this serves as the main school for residents with school-going kids, we do also have St. Stephen's School which is within a 1km radius. Now let's head on back to our studio as we share further into the location analysis. So welcome back to our Profilin Brothers studio. As we dive deeper into the location, Opera Estate is definitely one of the estates within D15 that has an esteemed reputation. Looking back in the pages of history, the area was actually covered by 500 acres, which is approximately 380 soccer fields of coconut and rubber plantations that were bought over by the Frankel family in 1912, who were wealthy Jewish merchants and business people originating from Lithuania. It was not till the 1950s when they sold parcels of land to developers to kickstart the residential developments in the area. Brokered by Nassim & Co Limited, landed houses then were catered to the clerical workforce class and not towards the wealthy. Single-storey terraces started from 9,000 and you could even get a two-storey newly built bungalows at 20k odd. Another fun fact about the area is that the first president of Singapore, Yusuf Ishak, actually stayed in this estate as well along Ida Street back when he was still a journalist. In terms of connectivity, we are actually located in the middle of three MRT stations, two east-west line stations of Bedok and Kembangan, and also the upcoming Thomson East Coast line of Sikla. Alternatively, it's just a five minutes walk cutting through Daphne Street following along Ida Street to the bus stop opposite the Panasonic building. From here, you can catch a bus service that will take you to Bedok MRT in just one stop. A 15 minutes MRT ride will be able to get you to the town area and for drivers, a 20 minutes drive will be able to take you to the CBD or central areas of Singapore. In terms of accessibility, this is definitely a plus point as it's quite challenging to find landed houses that have a similar level of convenience and access to public transportation. Looking at the D15 landscape, we can say that much of its popularity can be accredited to the landmark East Coast Park and also lifestyle of living in the area filled with rich cultural heritage routes that include the many preserved conservation shop houses that are now home to popular eatery. With the future development of the Thompson East Coast Line, we can actually expect the interest level and demand of homeowners shifting into the neighbourhood to increase with the added convenience of a public transport node that links directly to the Marina Bay attraction, the Marina Bay Financial Centre vicinity and of course not forgetting the acclaimed retail and entertainment ground of Orchard. Other amenities in the vicinity will include retail malls like Bedok Mall, I12 Katong, Katong Shopping Centre and also Marine Parade Central. With an abundance of F&B options from your East Coast Lagoon Hawker, to the many cafes and eateries in the Juche Shop Houses region, we can fully appreciate the East Coast lifestyle.
So let's take a virtual walkthrough on this floor plan so that you have a better feel of the space, configurations and colour scheme of this house. The architectural language of this house gravitates towards a modern luxury theme, pairing up with early stone colour tones of beige and grey generally for the tiling works. We have lighter brown wood grain laminates finishing for the carpentry works and countertops are done in a solid surface material in the grey scale colour. On level 1, it has an approximate 1000 square feet floor area made out of the living area, dining and dry kitchen zone, wet kitchen area with a helper's room, a powder room and a household shelter and a mechanical lift with a 400kg load capacity. You'll be greeted by the living area upon entering that has a double volume ceiling of over 5 meters, adding an extra luxurious touch. Perfect for those who are looking for an ideal space to hang their crystal chandelier for that perfect glistering effect or designer pendant light. Moving in, the general height of the remaining space are at 2.4 meters. You have a mechanical lift which serves every level and also the household shelter which usually also doubles up as a storage space. Dining area space is generous to fit in an 8-seater long table and also a section for the dry kitchen to provide additional countertop space for food preparation or to place appliances such as your coffee machine. We also like that there is a powder room catered on the first level which is great for the convenience of your guests if you are hosting any events. Sanitary wares and fittings proposed would be from Grohe or American Standard. The wet kitchen can be enclosed if you are looking to cook up a storm. The squarish layout and L-shaped countertop makes maneuvering around easier should multiple parties be required in the kitchen as compared to some of the longish double galley layout. For the chef in you, proposed kitchen appliances brands will include Frankie Cooking Hop & Hood, Bosch, built-in oven, dishwasher washer, fridge and also a washer and dryer. Moving on to level 2 which is the mezzanine floor. The approximate floor area is 840 square feet with a similar ceiling height of 2.4 meters. This zone is made out of the first bedroom that comes with its own ensuite and also with an additional space to do out a study or office area. Size wise, it can actually also be considered as another junior master bedroom. The walkway also caters for a multi-use space that can either be done up as a reading zone or coffee area as you head towards the outdoor balcony area. Level 3 is the official second story with an approximate 960 square feet floor area catered for another multi-use space which can be another lounge area or family area. It comes along with three bedrooms including the junior master bedroom. The two common rooms on this level are side by side and of a slightly smaller size at 110 odd square feet as compared to the one on the second level that's 200 odd square feet in size. The junior master bedroom has a similar configuration as the first bedroom on the second level which includes a study area zone and a slightly larger wardrobe zone. So on level 4, this is where your master bedroom is located along with two other outdoor roof terrace space. The master bedroom is generally in size at over 300 odd square feet with a walk-in closet and an ensuite that also comes with a long bar. There is sufficient space to cater for a study table as well as a cozy corner. On this floor, you will also find a roof terrace space that faces the back of the house. Now as we take a look at the pricing environment in the area, Opera Estate can be considered as one of the more wallet-friendly locales to buy into a freehold landed house in District 15. Here at Probably Lim Brothers, whenever we dive into the pricing environment for landed properties, we like to break it down into these four major categories. First up, we have the oldish type of single-storey properties which are suitable for a full-on rebuild from scratch. Units here will usually be in the price range of about 3.5 million for a similar land plot of approximately 1,003 to 1,004 odd square feet. If you factor in a full rebuild cost of about $400 PSF to a build-up of similar floor area of 4,300 square feet, the total rebuild cost will be around 1.7 mil odd and this will actually stretch your total cost to the 5.2 mil mark. Factoring a rental expense of about 10k a month for up to 2 years during the construction phase, that's another 200,000 odd adding up the total cost to close to the 5.4 million range. Second category, we have those that are usually between the 20 to 30 years of age which generally suit for reconstruction. Units here would typically cost around 80% of the full rebuild construction cost. Units that fall within this category would generally range between the 4.9 to the 5.1 mil mark after the reconstruction cost, adding in about 1 year of rental expense buffering for the construction phase, that would probably set you back to the 5 to 5.2 million range. In the third category, we have those that are around 10 to 15 years, which will require some A and A works and renovation. This will cost usually about 60 to 70 percent of your full rebuild cost. Units here will have price ranges that are usually fall between the 4.8 to 5 mil mark. And lastly, we will have the pure brand new developments that are from the developers, which is where our unit will fall into today. We are looking at an asking price of about 5.3 mil range in comparison to the second and third category. The key difference is that you get an entirely new building structure along with interior fittings as compared to reconstruction and A&A works. Now if we were to compare back to a similar category which is category 1 for the full-on rebuild, even though we have similarities in that you actually get an entirely new structure at the end product, you're looking at a more hassle-free process right from the start as the developer takes on the risk of managing all the moving parts involved that would include your builders, architects and also the submission process of all the required documentation. As compared to you personally having to spend time to interview different vendors, to compare quotations and also ensuring that 
each party's timeline matches so that the construction phase can go smoothly. Timeline-wise, they are also looking at a much shorter moving date of between 6 to 9 months as this unit is targeted to TOP in Q2 of 2023. As compared to starting the process from scratch to hunt for a suitable unit for rebuild, followed by negotiating the offer to secure the unit to appointment of the respecting vendors up to the moving date, you might be looking at a closer timeline of a 2-year period from the current date, incurring an additional rental expense if you have already sold your current property. So we will leave it up to you to decide which category of landed purchase would make more sense for you and your family in terms of your lifestyle and property journey plans. Alright, so we have come to the end of this session. Thank you for staying with us throughout this newly built inter-terrace home tour at Norma Terrace within the Opera Estate. If you are on the lookout for a new home that is of a brand new build and are looking to move in or remain in the D15 kind of lifestyle, we'll be more than happy to have a further chat. You can reach out to our listing managers as we showcase their contact details below. Do remember to hit the like and subscribe button on our Property Lim Brothers YouTube channel. We are also on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. My name is Melvin Chan, Property Lim Brothers. Always happy to show you the place. Bobby Lim Brothers team today is here in District 15 of <laughs> District. <coughs> okay. The original plot of land here right along Figalo. Fig Fidelo. Why I keep I go and mix Figaro and Fidelo. Yeah la. Fidelo Street. The architectural language of this home. The architect. <coughs> uh.